There are many questions to be had while watching this movie. Why not just call it Five Nights at Freddy's? Why did they use part of Buffalo Soldier for the theme song? Why do they keep a fully functional saw on the set of a kid's show? Hey everybody, this is Dark Horse Dumpling. This is day number two of my 31 Days of Horror. And tonight I watched a movie called The Banana Splits Movie. This movie was directed by a Canadian director named Danishka Esther Hazy. I definitely didn't pronounce that correctly, but I tried. The movie follows a young boy named Harley Williams. He's a huge fan of the show The Banana Splits. Little did I know that this film was actually based on an actual Banana Splits show. Back in like 1960 something, 1970 something. Originally produced by Hannah Barbara, it went on to lead to like HR Puff and stuff, if anybody's familiar with that. It was a very psychedelic kid show in the 60s or 70s. For Harley's birthday, they bought him tickets to a live showing of the Banana Splits. Little did anybody know, besides possibly the cast of the show, these characters are actually animatronics uh, developed by a scientist behind the scenes. Shortly after discovering that the show was to be canceled, they went full Five Nights at Freddy's and went haywire. This leads to many zany scenes of extreme gore with cutesy animatronic characters. This is definitely the type of movie where you have to kind of turn off your brain. Then again, a lot of my favorite movies are like that. Uh, ever watch Dead Alive? No. A lot of the actors in the film, though, were actually quite good. The young lead, Harley, was played by Finley Watluck Heising. No way I pronounced that correctly, but I sure tried. I feel like this movie was what the new Chucky wanted to be. It's really good to have movies like this during 31 Days of Horror to just kind of split things up. There's a lot of uh, serious horror movies that ch kind of change the way you think about things and that can kind of take a toll and sometimes you just want to throw in something that's dumb and fun. And that's what this is. I really enjoyed this movie. I give it a 7 out of 10. Again, my name is Dark Horse Dumpling. This is day 2 of 31 and I'll see you guys next time.